Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trisha and I'm at Juice Fox Homeschool. I homeschool a elementary, middle, and high schooler this coming year. And today I just wanted to share some books that I've been reading and that have been really encouraging to me and also a way for you as a homeschool mom to build community. So today I just wanted to share some meaningful books that have been impactful to me. One I've finished and the rest that I'm in the middle of, but they have already been helpful in this season of my life with a little bit older children. And I wanted to share all of them with you. Do you have a mom's basket or a mother's basket? I forget what it's called, but I've never had one of those. I think I just keep these on my shelf or in my bag when we're on the go. But I have been thinking about that because I put like even my own Bible and my Bible study in our morning basket, which is getting really crowded with my, with our actual family studies. And so it'd be nice to have like all your stuff in one place. But anyways, for now, this is what I have. The first book that I wanted to share with you was a book that we read, my husband and I read with our church um, they call it like small group or life group. So we meet once a week and we've been reading a chapter on our own and then coming together and discussing it with the other families, with the other moms and dads in our group. It's been really helpful. This book is called Parenting. It's uh, by Paul David Tripp. I think this is really, I've seen this around a lot. I feel like a lot of you might have heard of it, but if not, I just wanted to give you the nudge that this was really helpful. 14 gospel principles that can radically change your family. And one thing I liked about this is I read a lot of parenting books that are very practical, very kind of like a to-do, like parenting, how to parent. But this one was very intentional with not giving specific, you know, methodology, like how to, but this is more of the principles, um, biblical principles that can shape and change your perspective on the circumstances that you inevitably will be faced with with your children. And so some people in our group thought that it was repetitive after, you know, chapter after chapter, it kind of, there's a similar, there's a singular theme running throughout the whole book. However, I really appreciated the repetitiveness of his writing because I need to hear it over and over, and he's saying it in different ways. And so I think as I read the next chapter, it's a similar theme, different topic, but you know, I would encounter same situation or something with my kids where I would feel triggered. And I think that his writing really helped me to change the way that I think and which changed the way that I spoke, if that makes sense. So I really appreciated this book and I'm actually almost done with his next book is called The Age of Influence and it's for made for parenting teenagers along these lines, but it is a little more, maybe it's just, it's relatable to me in this season because a lot of the instances he describes I can relate to and have experienced at times. And so that's another one I recommend, The Age of Influence, Paul David Tripp as well. The next book that I'm reading is 14 Talks by Age 14. Now my daughter is already 14, so it's still fine to read it after your kids are over 14. It's uh, the essential conversations you need to have with your kids before they start high school. And this is not a biblically based book. However, there's a lot of wisdom that I'm already receiving from this. They give very detailed examples of how a conversation can go with your teenager. So that is also very relatable to me. And they give like alternative words that are a lot safer, words that build trust. And the topics in here I'm looking forward to, so I'm not that far along, but the conversations that some of them that they list, I'll just say a few of them talking about independence, talking about changing friendships, talking about taking care of yourself, talking about criticism, talking about hard work, money, sexuality, reputations, impulsivity, and helping others. So, so far I really like what I'm reading and now that I have a sixth grade, incoming sixth grader, I'm glad to be reading this now and just have a li little more insight before going through these stages with my younger two kids. The next one I'm in the middle of, slowly, I'm a very slow reader, The Power of a Woman's Words. And this one I started with our church's women's ministry. And it goes through the way that you have power in your words with different relationships and how a woman's words tend to be very powerful and impactful and how it's like a it's God's gift to us and we can use it how we please, right? So um, this one is another one that I've been really enjoying. The author is funny, tells a lot of great stories. 
that I'm sure you'll be able to relate to too. And the last one, so in with my daughter in high school, my plan is to uh, a couple times a week, one to two times a week, my plan is to read just with her. And so I have a lineup of books. I'll actually link a video that I've shared uh, an unboxing of some new books that came in that were really geared towards her age and so and development and growth and maturity in uh, spirit her spiritual walk but also in life skills and so i will link that video that i shared already here but um this is the first one that we're going to read together raising a screen smart kid so i only read the first chapter so far really good information the reading the first chapter is what inspired me to want to read it with her because i thought it would be a lot better coming from us reading this together versus me reading it and then reiterating it to her so and even just seeing this she was very intrigued already i think she she does have a phone that's a safe phone from gab wireless but she's very interested in how to use technology in a in a better way and a wise way i think she's used to sees adults and kids you know always on their phone and just not having a self-control with it so including us and i think that this is going to help me and her her and just to go into having technology, personal technology, um, in a way that honors God. And I also wanted to share an opportunity with you. If you are a homeschool mom and you are looking for some community, I, before I started Instagram or YouTube or blog or anything like that relating to homeschool, I just talked to my husband about homeschooling all the time and any other mom friends that homeschooled or were interested in it. But I just felt like there's got to be more people that I can connect with in this area because my husband would nod along politely, but I just thought it would be nice to have a community of like-minded homeschool moms that I can bounce ideas off of, that I can get suggestions. And I just wanted to share a new community I've recently joined called Made to Homeschool. And I've recently come on as a contributor to the group. And what that looks like is, so I've been in the platform for a couple months now. And what I've seen is really encouraging and I wanted to test it out before I shared anything with you guys. So the community is membership based. And with that membership, you are able to have access to the feeds. There's like a curriculum corner and a, a middle school and a high school and you know preschool years. And there's all these like different feeds where moms are constantly chatting in and giving, asking questions or giving advice or things like that. What has been great about it is just being able to gain new ideas. I've already have, I've already received like board game suggestions for American history that I, I'm gonna take a look at and also some resources for high school that I didn't know about. And within the community, new content is released every single day by one of the 20 plus contributors. There are free printables printables like templates there are printables that are full on unit studies i saw one on the united states that looks really great any of those from the past all the way to now are accessible to anyone with a membership there are also workshops available video workshops live sessions or you, they're all recorded and saved in the archive that you're able to access things about homeschool scheduling, rhythms, how to incorporate the Bible in your homeschool. I've seen videos on how to avoid burnout as a homeschool mom, special needs. There's a wealth of resource already with more content coming out almost daily from the contributors. And I am starting to contribute in September of 2023. So each month I'll be contributing either a video or a printable or um, a blog article to the community. And a new thing they recently just added to this membership are premium partners. And there are nine homeschool based resources slash curriculum companies that have partnered with Made to Homeschool. And they offer special exclusive discounts, giveaways, some freebies, things like that. I know one of the companies offered a giveaway only within that community for a free curriculum set, which was amazing. There are other things going on, special 15%. And a lot of the partners are really good, like Apologia, like Redefining School and World Watch News. So those are three of the companies that I'm very familiar with and use in our homeschool. And so I'm glad that they are partnered with them and offering these special things for the members. If you are interested at all in finding out more about Made to Homeschool, they do have a one week free trial and I'm gonna leave the link for you down below 
below. I'd love to see you in there. It's definitely cool to have community without the algorithm is what it feels like. It's not Facebook. It's not anything that you have to worry about anything. It's just very supportive and you can talk about homeschool as much as you want and everyone is kind of on the same page and positive environment and uh, wanting to see everyone succeed. So I just wanted to share that resource for you. I know as a homeschool mom, it can be very lonely and I just wanted you to know that there is a community available and you're not alone in doing this and I hope that you feel encouraged by what you're reading or the community that you have. And I'm so happy to share what I use. So I'll try to leave links to everything I mentioned in this video down below in the description. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And also I'm over on Instagram at juiceboxhomeschool and I'll see you in the next video.